Today, I'm going to be reacting to 15 biggest tech fails ever. From the stupidest to the funniest to the weirdest and the deadliest, I'm going to be reacting to them all. And I'll be shocked if you reach the end of this video without laughing or getting goosebumps. Number 15, the hoverboard. The hoverboards grew its popularity around 2015, but later started falling down as a result of them exploding because of the lithium ion batteries that used to power them. So this battery, these hoverboards used to explode as a result of the batteries exploding, causing fire and then causing a safety risk. So people ended up dumping those hoverboards and no more wanting them as a result of Crashes. Number 14, Microsoft Bob. Who the hell named something Bob? Okay, Microsoft Bob was a product by Microsoft which was intended to create a more user-friendly interface, especially for Windows computers. But the Microsoft Bob didn't actually achieve success on the market because one, the Microsoft Bob wasn't compatible with most computers which were available at that time. So people didn't really get to use Microsoft Bob and also Microsoft Bob was too cartoonish and over was clumsy. Let me put it as clumsy, which was not good for professional use like school or business. Thus making people not use it. You might have as well head of the Google list, a device which gave you an optical display overhead and capable of taking pictures and videos. So the Googlers went to the downfall because of privacy risk one. People felt like insecure seeing someone wearing the Google Glass. They thought maybe someone could take them a picture or the use of the Google Glass also felt insecure, feeling like maybe people are thinking that way he's taking them pictures and also, the Google Glass was too expensive. It was worth around 1500 US dollars. And that's way too much. So, if you think that you have seen the biggest tech fails ever, well, you haven't. Wait until you see, until you reach the end of this video. So, if you are a fan of rockets and space and stuff like that, you have probably heard of the Ariane 5 Flight 501 which was a maiden flight of the Ariane 5 rocket, uh, actually launched by the ESA, the European Space Agency. So what happened? This flight, this rocket, let's say, this rocket crashed as a result of loss of control and instability. This loss of control and instability was actually caused by a software bug. Or... Uh, Unfortunately, fortunately, people survived and no one was injured. I still can't believe one of the biggest e-commerce companies, Amazon, got into the biggest tech failures ever. Well, in 2014, Amazon tried to compete with other mobile phone manufacturers and decided to create its own mobile phone, which was named the Fire Phone, the Amazon's Fire Phone. So the Amazon's Fire Phone didn't really manage to get or attract more customers because the Amazon used or the Amazon Fire Phone used an its own operating system which was called the Fire OS. So the Fire OS had this problem that it didn't support more a lot of platforms or uh, people use like social media apps. Thus made it people not like it. Although the Fire Phone is also a great phone, it works uh, for games like Minecraft, it supports them. And as well, the Fire Phone was an expensive phone. So, judging with its limited of use and uh, features, it made people not want to buy it. Right, it's top 10 time. The biggest tech failures ever. So, 10th of all. Did I really say 10th of all? Okay, yeah, but it kind of makes sense. So 10th of all, the Boeing 737 MAX and, and a family of aircraft uh, of aircraft 
aircraft, yeah, a family of aircraft developed by the Boeing company. Well, this 737 MAX had two fatal crashes, one in October 2018 and the other in March 2019. Oh, this was caused by two problems, oh, which relied mainly on the sensor. But let me give you a broader, a broader, a broader what? A broad whatever a broader view of what caused the the fatal crash one it was the ma the mcas the maneuvering character argumentation system which is a system actually made to to change the the position of the aircraft's nose in different situations and unfortunately this this maneuvering system whatever this maneuvering system what relied on one sensor this made it to have erroneous results causing it to crash so this single sensor was not this single sensor had a 40 as a angle of attack a 40 angle of attack which made it the maneuvering or the mcas system to not respond properly thus making the aircraft crash next is the clapper a device which was designed to turn electronic devices on and off in response to clapping sounds so the clapper was became, gained its popularities between the 80s and the 90s but fell into but fell down as a result of or uh, it was sensing on wrong sound insensitivity well because of insensitivity it it could sense uh, i had some reviews people saying it could sense our uh, footsteps of someone walking and that annoyed people so thus made this the clapper lose its value and get turned down on the mic number eight the sony rolly an egg-shaped music player by sony well, this music player didn't actually succeed or achieve its success on the market because of its its limited functionality, or uh, it could only support two types of of file formats, which was the MP3 and the Advanced Audio Coding format, which was the AAC, and other file formats like the MIDI, the M. The, the 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 midi the wma the windows media audio format all these went supported which what which made it difficult to listen to some file formats thus making people not to buy it. moreover it had a weird shape an egg shape so people didn't really like it right you've probably heard of omega or even used it so Omega is a very famous, or let's say was a very famous, made people online website, right? So this Omega website or software came to downfall in November 2023. Uh, according to the owner, he seems to not know what's the problem. But according to my research, it is said Omega was found to be uh, leading people or young people to be you know exposed to issues like like let's say facilitating child abuse let me put it like that it was facilitating child abuse right microsoft again one of the biggest tech failures in history microsoft vista microsoft vista was a big big fail by microsoft this is because you know a lot of desktop and laptop users are usually windows users if i'm not mistaken are usually windows users and microsoft de decided to upgrade from windows xp to windows vista and of which that was a problem that windows vista was couldn't support most of the existing soft computers wasn't supported by most of the existing computers plus windows vista tended to have a lot of software bugs and crash crashes and uh, a lot of issues as well as hard drive issues number five number five the galaxy s for launch 
the Galaxy S4 launch gave a weird moment when a, when the famous journalist Mola Woods commenced the Galaxy S4 as a shockingly sexy and tone deaf because of its overly typecasting and line sketches. Well, even though the Galaxy S S4 had quite favorable sales, but it still gave Samsung a bad image. Next, the Yahoo's double hack. Shockingly, from 2014 to 2016, Yahoo was hacked several times, leaving the personal details of over 200 million of Yahoo users at risk. Lucky I wasn't one of them. I never used Yahoo, and I'm not gonna use Yahoo. Leaving 200 million users' personal details at danger and risk. And it was actually found out that some of the data was sold on the dark web, which is uh, a secret uh, kind of, sick, let's say, the secret internet. Then number three, the Therac Radiation Machine, a therapy machine which was computer controlled, developed by the Atomic Energy of Canada Limited. So this therapy machine or computer co controlled therapy machine caused its mess between 1985 and 1987. This, what, this led to about several patients being overdosed with radiation, leading to injuries and in most cases fatalities. This was mainly because of a software bug as well as a, confu a confusing user interface which conf even confused technicians, thus caused deaths, injuries, and many more. So, if you're a gamer or gaming fan, you're probably bound into the leaking videos of the GTA 6. Well, the GTA 6 leaked and it's actually not known who Hacked the system, but all I all I know is that Rockstar Games actually accepted it that somebody hacked into their system and there was a data breach, breach making them lose a lot of videos and pictures. But what I'm happy about Rockstar Games is that it say that even though they are disappointed, they are still gonna work hard in delivering GTA 6. For us, lastly, the Stuxnet attack, which was an attack f by a computer worm called the Stuxnet worm. Well, this Stuxnet worm thing was was dedicated to attack a target, which was a Iran's nuclear program. Being specific, it was a uranium enrichment program at Natanz, which is located in Iran. Well, this was a key facility in the enrichment of nuclear program in Iran well so this Natan was a big part of the Iran's nuclear program so this Natan's thing was playing a big role in making sure the uranium was enriched and uh, this was for various purposes which I'm very sorry I did not really get to find out what was the purposes for the Iran's for the uranium thingy for the uranium enrichment well this uh caused a failure because this tax worm was dedicated to attack the nuclear program only but it ended up attacking the whole world this became a failure that even people who weren't involved in this ended up being victims and as well as if you have been listening to this video, you're probably thinking, who made the Stuxnet worm? Well, the Stuxnet worm isn't was later released that it was a top secret program called the Operation Olympic Program, which was led by the U.S. and Israel intelligence system. So, thank you for watching this video till the very end. Make sure you have liked and subscribed.